Welcome to Harvest at Home Kids, everyone. We are talking today about the beginning of the Bible, Genesis. Look, we're in the Garden of Eden. This place is so cool. And today we're gonna to be talking about the seven days of creation. And look what I have. A globe! Whoa. Well, since we're talking about creation, we wanna find a couple places that we know that you're watching from. Some of you live in Southern California, just like us. Here it is, California, Southern California. Some of you live in Dallas, Texas. Some of you we know are watching live in Canada. Maybe you live in Florida or New York here in America, but maybe some of you live in Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific Ocean or on the opposite side of the Atlantic Ocean in Europe. Wow, today we're gonna talk about how God created the earth and we're gonna worship the Lord, we're gonna hear a Bible story, we're gonna do a snack, play a game, and have some fun. We are so glad you joined us. But first we're gonna worship, so stand up to your feet, stand up now wherever you're at, and get ready to sing and praise the Lord. <laughs> Have you heard? Silly Times with Handy Friends, our friend learns about creation. Hmm, I heard that God created the whole world out of nothing. I want to try. Okay, here we go. Let there be candy. Hmm, nope, let's try again. Let there be ice cream. Ugh, still didn't work. Let's try something else. Let there be puppies! Ah, oh, man, nothing is working. Hey, brother, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Jacob. I'm just trying to create things like the way I imagine God did. Oh, Caleb, we can't actually do that. We can't command things like that. But we can ask God to help us with some things. Here, try this. Say, God, let there be love in my heart. Oh, okay, I'll try that one. Let there be love in my heart. 
God. And? It worked! It did? Oh, great. Yeah, I love you, brother. Thanks for being an awesome older brother to me. I guess we should all ask God to create love in our hearts for everyone we meet, especially our older brother. Thanks, bro. No problem. Hey, how about me and you go get some ice cream? Yay! <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Mike. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Bible. It's like opening a new birthday present, but it's way better because it's God's Word. Today's word is... C R E A T I O N Creation Our Bible verse today about creation comes from Genesis chapter 1. It says, Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Genesis 1.31 Now say it with me. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Genesis 1.31 Thanks for unboxing the Bible with me today. Now stay tuned for an amazing Bible lesson about creation. Since it's our first service in the Bible, we're starting in Genesis. So get your Bibles ready, and let's join Jackie now. <laughs> Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to today's lesson. I am so excited because we are starting all over in the Bible and we're at the very beginning. Isn't that special? So we finished the Bible. We read all through Revelation, but guess what? The Bible doesn't end there. We're going to start back at the beginning and remember all the things that God did in the beginning of time. Does that sound good to you guys? All right. Well, hey, raise your hand if you know any of the days of creation. Remember, there's seven days of creation, and maybe you didn't know that, but God created the earth in seven days. Can you guys hold up seven fingers? That would be like your whole hand plus two. All right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good job, you guys. So today we're gonna learn what God created on each of those seven, hold them up. Good job, seven days. So let's start off with day one. Everybody show me one. All right, on day one, God created light. Yes, God created light. It says in the Bible that God separated the light from the darkness and called it day and night. Okay, so on day two, show me your twos. God created the sky. Yes, there was waters that were all around and God separated the waters from the waters in the heavens and the waters on the earth. So we got the blue sky that we know and love. All right. Now, let's go to day three. Hold up your threes. Okay, on day three, in the, the water that was on the, on the earth, God brought up dry land through the ocean. And so that's where we get land from. Whoa, isn't that so cool? So God created land, and do you guys think he put anything on the land? What is our, some things that we see on the land? <gasps> Trees grass, flowers, yes, all on that same day, God brought the land up through the sea and up to the surface and he covered it with vegetation. It's a very fancy word for plants. Yes, and also plants that would produce fruit and vegetables. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now on day four, God filled the sky with sun, moon, and stars. He gave us lights in the sky that would govern the day and the night, right? We have the sun during the day, 
and we have the moon at night and all the stars. So God gave us natural light at all times, which is so nice. I love the sun. How about you guys? All right, so on day five, hold up a five. Okay, on day five, God filled the ocean with all kinds of creatures, like fish. Can you guys make a fish? <gasps> yeah, and like sharks. And all other things, coral reefs, and little teeny tiny fish, and big giant fish. But he filled the sea with all kinds of creatures, and he filled the sky with birds. God made birds on day five as well. Do you guys like birds? They're so cool. I always wish I could fly too. All right, how about day six? Day six is one of my favorite days of creation because this is when God created land animals. Raise your hand if you have a puppy at home. Well, I don't, but you should raise your hand if you do. <laughs> raise your hand if you have a kitten at home or a bunny. I have a bunny. She's very cute and very silly. Okay, so a lot of our favorite furry friends God made on day six. And guess what else he made? He made humans. And the Bible tells us that he made humans in his image to be like him. Isn't that so cool? God made us because he loves us. And because of all creation gives him glory. Because the Bible tells us that creation shows us who God is. Think about when you go to the ocean. Isn't it so massive and cool? Well, that reminds us that God is so powerful and cool. And have you ever gone and seen the mountains? How big and tall they are and it makes you feel so teeny tiny. Well, the mountains remind us of how big God is and how magnificent he is. And have you ever just seen the most beautiful flower? So small, so delicate, so many like beautiful features in that flower. Well, that shows us how detailed God is and how he cares about all the little things. I just love the story of creation. So I hope you know that God made the whole world and God made you. That's right, God made you, and he made you because he loves you so much. All right, guys, well, I had so much fun going through this Bible story with you guys today. I hope you remember days one through seven, and if not, we're gonna play a game in a little bit, and it might help jog your memory. All right, guys, well, I'll see you next time. Love ya, bye. <laughs>
Let's get our next item now. Ooh, our next item is a seashell. What day does this represent? Hmm, it could be a tricky one. Well, give your answers now, because I'm going to give you the real answer in three, two, one, day five. That's right, day five is when God created all the sea creatures and other living things. And something living lived in this seashell. So if you guessed day five, you got it right. Good job. Let's get our next item up now. Okay, our next item is a light bulb. What day does this represent in God's creation? What day do you think it is? Shout it out. We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. It's day one, where God separated the light from the darkness. If you guessed day one, good job. Let's get our next item up now. Hey, we got a horsey here, a land animal. What day of creation does this represent? Give your best guess now, because we're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. It's day six. All right, God created land animals on day six. Great job if that was your guess. Let's get our next item up now. Oh, our next item is a fish. It's a rainbow trout, actually. What day of creation does this fish represent? Give your answers now. I think we've already said it before, so if you were paying attention, you can get it right. We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. It's day five. All the sea creatures and living things in the ocean. Good job if you guessed day five. Let's get our next item up now. Hey, we got a little orange here. What day of God's creation does this represent? Well, we're gonna give the answer in three, two, one, day three. That's right, when all the vegetation and the plants on the earth sprouted, day three. Good guess if that's what you said. Let's get our next item up now. Okay, so our next item here is a pillow. What day of creation does this represent? Hmm. I'm gonna give you the answer in three, two, one, day seven. That's when the Bible says God rested on day seven. All right, if you guessed day seven, then you got it right. Great job. Let's get our next item up now. Okay, we have our last item up here. It's man. Uh, this is a construction worker man, but the man that we're talking about is the one God created on which day of creation? Do you know? Can you guess? What day of creation did God create man? We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one, day six. Great job, everybody, if you guessed day six. Thanks for joining me in our game today about the seven days of creation. We'll see you next time. <laughs> it's snacky time. Hey guys, I'm Jackie, and welcome to Snacky Time. Oh, wow. I love that it's always a party in the snacky time kitchen. All right, well, we have a fun snack that is kind of unusual, but also very cool. And it's going to remind us about the days of creation where God made the things that he made. So this isn't an exact science. It's just reminders to remind us of what God has done on what day. And we're gonna do it in a little snack tray. So to make this snack, you need a muffin tin. If you have a six, a six compartment muffin tin, that works fine. I have a 12, so I'm gonna make some for me and my friend. All right, sound good? All right, we also need to have some cupcake liners. You can use whatever kind of cupcake liners you like. I have a couple of very cute, different styled ones, and I'm gonna use those. And the first thing we're gonna do is line all of the compartments with the liners. And because I like the cute side to be showing, I'm gonna invert it like this, see? That way when it sits in my cup, I can see the cute design. So let's do that now.
Okay, all of our um, cupcake or muffin compartments have been lined and now they're ready to fill with snacks. Okay, so we have six different snacks. Now remember, God created the world in seven days, but on the seventh day he rested. So when our snack is over, we're tired and that is the end. Okay, so that's day seven when we have finished all of our snacks. Okay, so day one though is when God made light. So I thought, what kind of food is like light? Okay, so this is a stretch. Are you guys ready for it? I have popcorn. Why popcorn? Well, it's really light and fluffy, and it reminds me of day one when God separated the light from the darkness. So I'm going to fill my muffin container right here with some popcorn. And since I'm making some for my friend, I'm gonna fill their number one with popcorn too. And we obviously have to taste it. Mmm, that is good. Okay, so let's move on to day two. All right, day two, I have a bag full of fluffy marshmallows. Okay, so on day two, God created the sky. He did not create clouds on day two, but he did create the sky, and marshmallows remind me of fluffy clouds in the sky, so that is our day two snack, little marshmallows. So let's fill that in next to the popcorn. Maybe don't put too many in here. These are really sweet and sugary. Okay, that's good. All right, moving on to day three. All right, day three, God created the land. And what reminds me of land and dirt? Gummy worms. So no, God did not create gummy worms on the third day, but he did create the land in which all the trees and plants grow. So gummy worms for day three. So go ahead and stick that in. Let's just do a couple in our muffin tin. All right, now let's move on to day four. Day four, all right, huh, how does a cutie fit into day four? Well, first of all, it kind of looks like the sun. God made the sun, moon, and stars on day four, so if you think about it, it kind of looks like the sun, and when you break it open, this gets kind of messy, but it smells so good. Once you get it open, the segments look like a little half moon. So I told you, some of these are a stretch, but we needed something healthy in our snack plate. So here is a cutie, and it's also, you know, bright orange like the sun. That's a good one too. Okay, so let's put that into day four. A few segments of our cutie. All right, let's move on to day five. Day five is fish and birds, but I couldn't really think of a bird snack unless we maybe had like a hard boiled egg, but I don't really want that in my snack tray right now. I want goldfish crackers. So I'm gonna put some goldfish in here to represent day five when God filled the seas with fish. We can have a lot of these. There we go. All right, there we go. And we have one more day, because remember, seventh day, we're done, we're full, we're resting. So on the sixth day, let's see what we're gonna make. Ready? Day six. Okay, day six, my personal favorite. I found these bunny graham crackers. They are so cute. But you know what, you could also use an animal cracker if you have one of those at home. Maybe you even have the frosted animal cookies. Those are so good. But these are delicious and they're light. And let's put those in our last snack cup. All righty, okay, let's go over our seven days of creation snack one more time. So to recap, day one, light, because popcorn is light and fluffy. Day two, marshmallows to represent God creating the sky. Day three, gummy worms to represent God creating the earth and the land and all the vegetation. 
In day four, we have our little cutie segment representing the sun, moon, and stars. And in tray five, for day five, we have our goldfish, when God filled the seas with fish. But don't forget the birds in the sky. And then our last one is day six, when God created land animals. He also made humans this day, but we have cute little bunny snack. Adorable. All right, guys, well, I hope you had so much fun making this snack. I really did too. Maybe you have some different ideas of what you could fill in your little muffin tray that would represent the days. And if so, take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, tag us, let us see what you have come up with. Cause you guys are all creative and I know you have some good ideas. Well, I'm gonna start digging into this snack tray cause it looks so good. I love all the variety. I love you guys and I'll see you next time, bye. Well, that's all we have for you today, kids. Thanks for joining us in our service all about creation. God created the whole world in seven days. And that is so amazing. He didn't need anything to make the world, but he did it all on his own because he is all powerful. And it's really cool. Yeah, you think about all the cool places he created in the world and how you can see them on a globe. Have you ever played that game where you spin the globe in a circle and you stop it with your finger and that's where you're gonna go on vacation one day? Let's do that now. Okay, my turn, here we go. You know what, one day I'm gonna go to vacation in Washington, in America. Okay, Jackie, it's your turn. That's not too far of a trip. It's not. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready, steady. I'm going to Hawaii! Ooh, I like that one. That was a good one. Okay, I'm gonna go again. Okay. The Philippines! One day, Ooh. maybe I'll go travel in the Philippines. Jackie, do you wanna try again? Okay, one more time. Okay. Because I wanna take another vacation. Okay, ready? Steady? I'm gonna go to Africa to Senegal. Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, thanks for joining us today. You know, you can follow us on Instagram at Harvest Kids Live, and you can follow us on YouTube at Harvest Kids Live and click the notification bell so you know every time we upload some more services. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.